blood diseases. As ABC 7's health and science reporter Carolyn Johnson explains, this breakthrough would help not just children, but adults as well. Watching Isaac Coutte chase down a football, you might never guess that the 12 year old once suffered from sickle cell anemia or that he was one of the first children in the country to be cured by stem cells released into his bloodstream by a transfusion of cord blood. Very happy because um, uh, I could have died. Doctors harvested the blood from the umbilical cord during the birth of his now four-year-old sister Eunice. The technique was pioneered at Children's Hospital Oakland and has been used to save scores of other children since. But it's never developed into a practical treatment for adults because there's simply not enough stem cells in one unit of cord blood to transplant an adult. So Franz Kuypers and his team at the Children's Hospital Oakland Research Institute began to look into another stem cell source also retrieved during the birth process, the placenta. So we, we collect the placentas, you know, and then take the placenta and see whether there are cells in there that are stem cells, and yes, there were. Not only are they there, yes, you can tease them out, and yes, there are many more than you will have in one unit of cord blood. In a study published this month, Kuiper's team documented that stem cells taken from the placenta survived transfusion into animals and indeed began producing healthy blood cells. And that's the key to their effectiveness in treating diseases of the blood, such as sickle cell anemia. Researchers believe a combination therapy could now extend the same treatment option to adults. So that means that you have now your cord blood and you have your placental derived cells, which are very similar. If you combine them, now you have enough to transplant an adult. And placenta blood also has advantages over options like bone marrow transplant because the donor match does not have to be as exact. Bert Lubin is vice president of research. Approximately eight to 10,000 people die each year who could be transplanted or considered for a transplant. He believes the therapy may eventually be used for a variety of genetic blood diseases and cancers like leukemia. Back in Brentwood, Isaac and his family are simply thrilled that the procedure that saved his life is now evolving into a new therapy that could save thousands of others. For the people that have suffered just like me, this disease or another disease, I think that they could get cured. Carolyn Johnson, ABC 7 News. And when ABC 7 News at 9 continues here tonight, Iran carries out its threat to crack down on...